Uh oh. <laughs> We're here at Lanier in the Ark car. This is going to be an interesting one. So, uh, I'm typically not the greatest at short tracks. Just kind of not my, uh, not my thing. But, um, had okay time in the open practice ahead of time. I mean, we had some guys hitting like 14 O's, which was uh, pretty crazy. And of course, uh, I recognize at least one of them is in this race. So, <laughs> not quite there. But I did have the fourth overall best time there. So, uh, at least I'm not completely off pace, like it's a touring car race or something. Pardon me, I'm going to need to focus here. Alright, what did I end up with? 14, 3. Uh, I guess it's not too bad. So, as you saw, this takes a lot of focus for me. This is not like a one hand on the wheel and chatting type, type of racing for me. This is like super focus time for me because it's just it's super difficult got to hold on to this thing so uh might be a little lighter on the commentary this race probably a lot more of the ah and oh no and yikes kind of commentary so <laughs> apologies in advance for the um maybe low quality play-by-play -play. <laughs> but uh you know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna be trying to take it a little easier into the corners, not to run anyone over, and hopefully not get run over myself. Uh, I believe it's not single split, but I believe it might be like maybe have split only once, something like that. I think. So uh, not the worst field, but not the best. I mean, it's like usual. I'm racing as I get home from work, so it's about. 11.45, I think, right now. So not the greatest participation, but, uh... Shouldn't be too bad, I hope. Hopefully we'll have guys being patient and stuff. We'll see. Middling time, it looks like, of the guys who qualified. I can live with that. Honestly, didn't want to over-qualify myself and get run over. So I'll take that. Yeah, those guys in the 14 ones are going to be gone. Uh, we might end up seeing them later in the race just because they're lapping us. But uh, other than that, probably not going to see them unless they crash or get crashed. There's going to be uh, going to be some dodging going on, I'm sure. There's no way this goes completely wreck-free. Hopefully we're not part of it, but I'm being realistic as well. And... Uh, gonna keep my hand away from the the mic button because easily could uh, get wrecked and I don't want to react with an angry yell or something like I, I know no one here is a professional presumably so uh, I'm not even gonna worry about tires I mean maybe it's a thing uh, maybe I, I'm maybe I will kind of worry about tires and the fact that I'm not gonna just smash on the throttle and light up the rears but I do think tire heat's more important. This is what I've got for my settings. Uh, I went ahead and went to 8 to 1 just to get as much turn as possible. Um, got my typical steering offset. That's just personal preference because I like the wheel feeling more straight. And then my brake bias, which I actually forgot to set to negative 3 in the car. So that might have helped me a little bit. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, to get it turning and qualifying. But probably not all that much. Because... Uh, the lowest you can get it here, 60%, is no, actually no, 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 kind of no, no, no. high, um, in my opinion. Well, I'm starting in the back to back to back to back to racing fucking system. So, the um, fucking stupid, so. they're already cussing. <laughs> they're already angry and racism has started yet, but. <sighs> yeah, like I was saying, the, the brake bias, I think, is uh, pretty high. Um, by default in the Arca car, even when you put it down low. So I'm going to get it as low as possible once I hop in the car. And that's just uh, 
comfort level. I feel okay getting on the brakes. I have a nice set of uh, load cell braking, I think they're called, pedals. I got lots of pushback in the brake pedal, so it makes it a little easier not to jam on it too hard and spin myself out. So that's a very nice little thing to have for me, and uh, I feel like I take it for granted a lot. <laughs> but, uh, oh boy, deep breath, because we're about ready to go here soon. You're on the outside this time. Close. I guess I'll just get Close. session last lap up and try to be consistent. That's going to be the thing. Uh, I don't want to wreck myself. So, obviously no tires in Arca and no cautions. <laughs> so, bad news is we're starting on the outside. And as usual on a track this small, typically you're going to want to be on the inside. We'll try to file our way down as soon as we can. Oh, thank God I'll be starting last and hang back in here. Try to file down as soon as we can. Pretty nervous though. This stuff does, uh, short tracks are so scary, man, to me. Uh, I'm usually just in full panic mode <laughs> the whole race. I'm tr gonna try not to be obnoxious and just screaming in terror the whole time. <laughs> I'll try to commentate what I'm doing, but it's gonna be a lot of focus, like I said, so. Might be it might sound a little bit different. Who knows? Um, it's actually it's kind of weird seeing linear paved because the last handful of times I've been here, it's been on dirt, <laughs> like dirt street stocks and stuff. I got used to seeing it piled on with dirt. So, but we're uh, we're here on the solid surface today. And uh, speaking of that, the trucks are actually at Eldora this week. I might give that a try. I don't think I've done that before. I don't think I've done trucks on dirt. How much have tires changed since, like, last July? Um. Uh. I might give that a try. Okay. I don't, I'm not sure if I've done that yet before. Trucks on dirt. So, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I mean, I mean, how much is, like, tire weird? Like, the but way I'll probably give that a try. Uh, react to the track. Follow car number. I don't know. I've only had this completely. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Get this done. Hopefully this doesn't bite me, and uh, I don't have to slam on the brakes for a wreck I, and spin myself out. But uh, I didn't know like, if there's a new tire model or what was going on with it. I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll find out. I mean, like, after I'm not expecting while, much out of this. I mean, it's kind of loose. Right now, kind of feeling 50/50 that I'm going to end up wrecked through either my fault or anyway, so not my own. One left to green. I mean, I'm behind you, I'm I just, I, for, I foresee doom. <laughs> How's this gonna feel? Yeah, Jeez, I didn't even know you were behind me. Man. Not bad, actually. I wasn't talking about you specifically. I just meant that I'm expecting to get ready. Get ready, going green. What's gonna happen? Probably. Okay. It's gonna happen ready. awesome. Green flag, green flag. Okay, so far so good. Got to the bottom. And we've already got trouble. That's unfortunate. Here. Mm, guys are getting close to bumpers. Outside. Got someone on our outside. Clear high. Outside. Fighting them. Anderson, Keep low. Just done on throttle. Stay low. There is a Not though. I'm <laughs> not being very patient on throttle. Low. To be clear. Keep low. Try does not mean succeed. P6. Car in front is just posted out. Still there, hold Shout out high. to my wheel. My steering wheel. For being a trooper. As I grip it with a thousand pounds of force. We are clear. Heart beating fast, but so far so good. Hmm, pitched it a little sideways there, getting all the brakes harder in the corner. Deep breath. Keep it smooth. All right.
Alright, so getting on gas pretty hard. Getting sideways. Try my best not to look at the bumpers in front of me and look at the apex. That's typically what you need to be looking at. But I uh, also don't want to run over the guys in front of me either, so I've got to be aware of where they are. Car outside. Stay low. We are uh, able to get to the inside of someone there. Ooh, went in there a little hard. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. I have no idea what position we're in because I cannot take my eyes off of anything except for the line I'm trying to take. It's just you're constantly doing something here. And uh, usually it's turning. And the other small fraction of time you're not turning is preparing for turning. <laughs> so, kind of have that going on. Oh man, my arm's already hurt, and I have the feeling we're not even very far into this race yet. Oh, I overdrove it. But, uh, still okay for now. Oh, I'm overdriving the corner, I can feel it. I need to calm down a little bit. I'm just so worried about this guy behind me. I need to not be. I'm not very good at this. This guy's gonna be frustrated with me, probably. He might ahead. punt me. Car ahead. He car might just let him by. Except now's not a good time for that. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Hey. Clear inside. I'm behind him there. Low car up high. Felt like he was uh, having to be patient for me, so just let him go. <sighs> like I said, number one goal is just to not get crashed. Right here. Just trying to stay consistent. See where that takes me. Looks like I'm in seventh right now. I was able to glance just for a moment at the position. Reminds me of driving Langley back when we were there. The last time I think I've done such a short track in the Arca car. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear up. I believe that was a lap car out there. I'm so tunnel vision when racing short tracks. It's probably not good. I mean, probably have pros and cons, but uh, I get such tunnel vision. Looking at one point ahead of me. I am keeping an eye on the guy behind me a little bit as well. Just in case he decides to run into the back of me. Got a bit of a traffic jam going on here. Your lap time was 14.8. I uh, have never intentionally touched someone to get past them. Oh! Oh! Yay! Wowie! Wowie Kazowie! Oh my god! That was a thing that happened. Okay. You're in fourth position. I'm in fourth position. Okay, okay. That's uh well that can happen to me at any time, so <laughs> what did I tell you about the commentary being really bad? Oh guys wrecking. Lots of screaming, lots of panicking. The short track experience. That's just short track racing. Screaming like a little girl. That's what short track racing is on this channel. I am definitely not the calm and collected Nick Nieben. <laughs> Where like a crash happens in front of him, a car gets shot off into the sky, and he's like, Alright, that's another position. <laughs> I can't, I, that's not me. That's just not me at short tracks. I'm not comfortable. 
not enough comfortable for that. Usually I just have to turn my brain off and pretend no one else is here, for the most part. <laughs> and hit my lines. Or at least tried to. Ooh, it got sideways. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to be a little more ca cautious on the throttle then. That's the what I'm gonna be feeling. Probably should have been this whole time. Like I said, easier said than done. Got a million other things to worry about. I'll let the guy behind me pass to FISA okay. getting closer. I gotta let my tires cool down a little bit though after I uh, got sideways a little bit. So I'm gonna be spinning out probably. Oh! He actually got sideways behind me, so that gets me some breathing room. Nice. Oh, my hands hurt. Just over halfway. That's uh, it's actually kind of good news for me, because it feels like we've been out here for an eternity already. Incidents should be fun to watch. Oh, unless I'm in them. Oh, unless I'm in them because of this 20. Pardon me, sir. Thank you. I appreciate you. Assuming you're actually like... Oh. Looks like he was going to be right in front of me for a second. Clear. Okay. Overdrove that, I think. Oh, I need to stop trying to choke my wheel to death. Hey, should I try shifting? <laughs> funny, funny. Me at Milwaukee Mile. <laughs> kind of decided at the end of the week after watching other people that probably wasn't the move and I was just overdriving the corner making it necessary but hey I uh, I fit that square peg in the round hole pretty well so <laughs> works not gonna be shifting here though I have plenty of other things to worry about hi 17 would you like to get out of the way thank you Turn the wheel a little bit more because uh, I'm trying to stay out of the lap car. And if uh, dodging lap cars wasn't hard enough, why don't we just uh, make sure they're entering the ninth dimension while we're going by them as well? Just make it that much harder for us. Outside. Okay. 20 laps to go coming up here. Oh god, my left hand specifically hurts so much right now. It's, pro it's probably bad for me. It's like, uh... I was always told as a, a baseball player, I enjoyed playing baseball when I was younger. Uh, gripping the bat really hard while batting does not do you any good, and I kind of had a bad habit of doing that, but being loose with the grip is better, and I feel like it's probably the same way holding the steering wheel. I'm probably better off being gentle with it, using finesse rather than killing the darn thing. Watching this 15 again. Sorry, Jordan, I'll let you have it the next corner. You're good, dude. My, my car is pretty pretty junk. I just don't want to get down <laughs> for four, you know. You've just done a 14.9. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. I'll see if, uh... I need to let him go. Right, I'm going to jump to conclusions, though, because I am fighting for a spot here. See, look, I'm kind of gaining on him all of a sudden, so... Didn't need to give it to him. The lap time was at 14.8. Oh, two seconds ahead to the next guy. Let's take a glance at that. No idea what that deficit is doing. If it's getting larger smaller, I can't 
can't keep an eye on it. So, interesting to know, nonetheless. Park stop down low, it is not a lead lap car. Name was Blue. Let's see, check that real quick. Okay. This is going pretty well, actually. For me on a short track, I'm happy with this so far. Great job, game to go. Watching this 19. See what he's up to. Seems to have pretty okay speed when he's not spinning out in front of me. Pardon me, sir. Sorry to see that happen to you, my friend. Car stopped up high. 13 trying to kill me. That's the car on the track. Car stopped up high. Nineteen's turning in front of us. We're just gonna take the apron, I guess. Slow car down low. Howdy, 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 neighbor. I'm sure there's gonna be some retaliatory wrecks happening throughout this race. We'll get a good view of them in the instance. Thankfully, I have not taken anyone out this race yet, so. So far, not the recipient of any angry movements. And uh, that seems like a good long-term goal for a race. Don't make enemies. And you won't get run into one final lap or something. <laughs> so, that was the lead lap car. That was a part of that wreck there. Pretty sure he's faster than Sorry, me, though, so... To hold you up there. Chris, I don't know how you say that, but that was uh, a nice. You've got two laps to go. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Yeah, it's pretty wild. <laughs> Clear outside if you want to. I don't know how these guys no even tires. have time to talk. Fucking lock them up. I feel like I would reach for my uh, mic button and just immediately spin out. Ooh, trouble flag, for the six. The, cap two. the pressure's on. I'm going to catch you. It would be a shame if you smashed on the throttle and spun yourself. <laughs> well, looks like this is going to be where we end up. Whew. Who won that? Low car up high. Ow, my hand. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to amputate it. Okay, let's get off the track. Seven, you got a copy? Yeah, dude, what's up? Oh my god, my yeah, hand is broken. But, it, it was no worth it. From 8th to 4th. That was a good run. I was trying to catch it, but he's old time. On a short track. Wow. Yeah, I need to breathe it for a second. I'm sorry. Woo! Well, yeah, I hadn't done it in like... Get that heart rate back. down just a second. Floor, that thing comes around. I'm gonna let it rip. And it bit me in the ass a bit, but I'm glad it didn't hit though. Send a good win message to number one while those guys are talking. Yeah, I have some good sportsmanship from the three. Whew. Nine was running good, too. He was right behind me the whole time. All right, crazy, let's uh, uh, take a look. See what happened out there. Good. This ought to be good. 23 uh, drifted up in either guy's lane and ended up being the one to pay for it. Most of all, looks like. Blinking. I think was that the same guy maybe that was freaking out, or I think that was actually the number eight that was blinking really bad at that one point. 203, 217, right side? What does that even mean? Oh, the heat, okay. That's what he means. That's interesting, I haven't seen that before, but that probably makes more sense to look at. I had 219, 211. So I don't know what that means, but <laughs> that's what I had. 
Ten car, not blinking this time. This time he is overcorrecting headfirst into the wall. On the gas too hard, the flames gave him too much horsepower, and then he's just driving across the track. <laughs> Thankfully no one was there though. 28, just a barely little tiny baby tap of the wall. Jimmy Johnson, not that bad. Looks like he was about to have some more issues. That's a bigger issue. That's not a Jimmy Johnson, is it? Is that? That might be like a Brian Vickers. I'm not sure. Some sort of Hendrick, though, I think. Oh, boy, this is a big one. Two just rolling across the track. That's not very nice. So, what, what's, what's happening here? I believe the 17 gets in the wall and bounces off, maybe. Gets loose, okay. And then the two gets collected, and uh, instead of holding his brakes right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and take out more people. I don't know, <laughs> but that causes bigger problems. Oh yeah, there's me. I'm already blanking all the incidents from my mind, or else I'll have PTSD. So. This is what this one looked like. Okay, I do remember this, though. There was panicking being had. Ooh, no, not that fast. So we're covered up here. And uh, suddenly we see some things happening. That two pulling out there. And uh, everyone's diving down low. So I'll go ahead and follow them. But uh, the seven gets rear-ended as they're making their way through. And then suddenly they're going every which way. I'm just slowing down. Thankfully, I... I'm able to navigate it. it. Actually worked out pretty well for us. We gained a handful of positions from that. 20 is self-spinning up there and other people just driving right on into it. I always like the blue and green color combo. I think that always looks pretty good. Here's the 8 that was Blinking real bad at one point. That's what we're seeing there, too. Some team letting guys by on the inside. Looks like they might, uh, or they did get in the wall just a tiny bit. More blinking or an accident? That's a wall hit. Ooh, and then does he save it? He saves it. For now. Green machine. Just a barely little touch of the wall. Not too many laps left already. We're already approaching uh, only 10 to go. 19 self-spinning. Again, too much horsepower in that thing. The uh, flames gave him too much. Too hot to handle. Am I right? Team getting loose. 19's just patiently waiting for his opportunity. And, uh, initiating the slow process of heading the right direction. At least he wasn't just... I was gonna say, at least he wasn't just driving right in front of people and then he drove right in front of me and then suddenly I remembered. <laughs> I mean... He tried. He saw a little opening there and... That wasn't that bad. I just slowed down. Made sure I was careful on the apron and just took that little path there and... Thankfully... This guy behind me was very patient, so shout out to him. There were times he was real close to us from behind, and uh, we were kind of, you know, building a gap, and then the gap would close up a little bit, and uh, at no point did he just dive it in on me or anything crazy. So, uh, props to him. Oh no, I didn't even realize he spun. I think I saw him get sideways, but I didn't know he spun. Well, that sucks. I was just praising the guy, and then... Uh, he had issues, but uh, he only finished a couple spots down from where he was he was at that time in fifth, so at least he got it going quick. But uh, thanks to him for not just destroying me, because there were a couple opportunities he could have uh, ignored the brake pedal. Three, that's cool. That's really cool of him. That's some, like, Ken Schrader stuff right there <laughs> in that one Arca race where he spun the guy in the last lap and then waited for him. That's good sportsmanship. So, thir three accidentally catches up to a mid-corner, and they had a big enough lead that uh, he let the one catch it, and then gave it back, although that was a kind of dangerous way to do it. 
He might have wanted to maybe get out here first or something instead of stopping in the middle of the track. I mean, I'm nitpicking at this point, though. That was a really nice gesture, is what it was. Oh, that's because it was on the last lap. Okay. So that was literally coming to the green, and he didn't want to win that way. So almost exactly like Ken Trader in that Arca race. <laughs> Did not want to take the win that way. Gave it to him. So that's why he couldn't wait until he could go in the corner. Okay. Very cool of, cool of him to do that. Much respect to this guy. So. More uh, late race accidents. The 8 is mad at the 9 over something. And uh, maybe we can find out what it was. But honestly, if he was blinking like he was before, then I might not have even known he hit him. And apparently he has a long memory too because it was many laps ago. So, I don't know. We'll look a couple laps further back here, but I don't think I'm going to wait much longer to find out what he's so angry about. He it looks like he waited to go through the field and uh, run into the guy, but whatever it was, still wasn't very cool of him to do. So let's see if we can find anything else. Got to get back where we were. So the 8 running into the 9. Not very classy. And that was it. So we did see everything. All right, I'm so, so very happy that my first attempt went so well. Um, it's going to be my only attempt because I don't want to cut too many years off the end of my life. But uh, 0x at Lanier Mayhem. <laughs> it, it wasn't, it, honestly, it could have been worse. It could have been so much worse in terms of Mayhem. A uh, couple crashes we had to navigate, but nothing too crazy. We got ourselves a top five, finished where we were supposed to, moved up some spots after getting stuck on the outside at the start. Very, very happy with that. And uh, I think it should be a good video to watch too, I hope. Uh, lots of action for sure at short tracks. So, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye.